Hi guys, Daniel here and welcome back to another one of my how-to videos. This is for the Apple iPhone. Uh, the home button stopped working on this phone. It's given me the Touch ID error. Uh, this might be because the button has failed due to use, etc. Or you may have done a repair and the button's no longer working because they are locked to the phone. It's a security thing. So we want to still use the phone. So this, let's show you how you, to, how you can temporarily fix this to continually use, continue using your phone or to take it to Apple. First thing we need to do is to turn the phone off, obviously holding the lock button down. Yours might be in a different place. And then we turn the phone back on when it's ready. It's still shutting down at the moment. And the reason why we're doing this is because it's going to ask for a pin. And obviously we can't use our Touch ID when it starts back up. We can't even unlock it in its present state because it's stopped working. So we'll turn it back on, holding it down. There's the Apple logo. So hopefully this video is helpful to anybody in this situation. There is a uh, fix for it. So when it starts back up, it's going to ask me for my pin. You need to do this fairly quickly. Otherwise you'll miss it. Takes a few more seconds on these older phones. So there we go. So I'm just going to enter my pin. So the phone is now unlocked and we need to go to settings. So we go to the settings, the cog icon. Just um, And then we need to go to, there we go, focus it in. Then we need to go to general. And the next thing we need to go down to is accessibility, which is in the middle here. Maybe in different position depending on the iOS version. And we need to go down to assistive touch, it's here. This is the most important thing. First of all, you want to turn it on. As soon as you turn it back on, you'll get this little thing here. This is basically like a, an on-screen button. You may never have seen this before. You can move it around just by dragging it. It sort of stays in place. It locks to where it was. By default, it's got custom actions. Single tap, double tap, long press. So single tap, double tap, long press. Um, basically, it will have an open menu with like a square, which might not be that useful to you, but you can do whatever you want to do. I personally change single tap to home. So basically it mimics the home button. And as you can see, if you press that now, it is basically a home button, see? So I go there. So now when I unlock the phone, if I unlock it, I can then press this button here and get the pin. And I'll just do the pin off the camera, obviously. And now it's unlocked. So thanks for watching and I hope this helps. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments.